Hi, in this video we're going to solve this system of equations. So we have two equations and we have to find x and y. a, b here are variables and you notice by the way it's written we can assume here that a and b are non-zero because we're dividing by a, b. So in all of this a is not zero and b is not zero. Now this is not stated in the original question but when you see a question like this and it's written like this it's just an immediate assumption obviously because you can't divide by zero so they can't be zero. Okay. So to solve this, we've got ax minus by equals zero and ay minus bx equals a squared minus b squared all over ab. So I'm thinking we can take this one maybe and solve for x. So solution. And then we can do like some type of substitution. So if ax minus by equals zero, this implies, well we can add this to the right hand side. We can add by to the right hand side. So that's ax equals by. And then we can uh, now divide uh, by a. Obviously it's not zero. So we have x equals b over a times y. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this and plug it in here. Okay, so we're gonna substitute. So we have a y, okay, and then minus b, and then our x is b over a times y. This is equal to, and then we still have this stuff here, a squared minus b squared over ab. Okay? We can pull out a y here, because we're looking for y. This will be a minus b times b is b squared, and we're here, right? b squared over a, and we pulled out the y. And over here we have a squared minus b squared over ab. We can write this as a single fraction. We can subtract these. We multiply this by a over a, and that's going to give us a squared over a, which is basically going to be a squared minus b squared over a. So I, I skipped some steps here, but this is a squared over a, which is a, minus b squared over a, which is b squared over a. So everything is good. And this is equal to a squared minus b squared over a, b. And this a is kind of annoying, so we can multiply by a, multiply by a, those go away. So we simply have y, parentheses, a squared minus b squared equals, these a's cancel, and then here we have a squared minus b squared over b. Now we can divide both sides by a squared minus b squared. So we get y equals one over b. And that's the answer for y. Now we can take y and we can plug it into the first equation, which is over here, which is ax minus by equals zero. So recall we had ax minus by equals zero. And now we can plug in the value of y. So it'll be ax minus b, and then y is one over b, and that's equal to zero. Oh, this is really nice. These cancel, so we get ax minus one equals zero. Add the one to both sides, we get ax equals one, divide by a, which of course is not zero, so x is equal to one over a. So we have our answers, x equals one over a and y equals one over b. You can write it as an ordered pair if you like, and that would be the answer as an ordered pair. Basically, this is the point of intersection of these two lines, or right? these are both lines in the, in the plane, and this is the point uh, where they intersect, one over a, one over b. Obviously. We don't know what the values of a and b are. All we do know is that they cannot be zero. Hopefully this has been helpful to someone out there who is studying mathematics. Good luck.